So free roam games have been popular for a long time now already. Even though this was not the first free roam game, GTA 3 was one of the greatest examples of making a free roam game that everyone have noticed. And ever since then, the popularity has scaled all the way to the rooftop. So why are free roam games so popular? And how do you make a good free roam game? I remember when I was younger, I used to be ecstatic when I played GTA, Saints Row, and all these other games just because it was free roam. You get to explore a city, you get to kill so many pedestrians, you could rob stores and all this stuff. And sure, it was fun when I was younger, but when you realize over the years that either it gets too repetitive, there's nothing unique about it anymore, or whatever the case may be, you just start thinking like, God, I'm kind of bored now. And that is the problem with a lot of free roam games now, that they just believe that when you make an open world, you can just add some pedestrians and add a little bit of features and that's just enough to basically convince people that this is fun. Sure, you could convince a little bit of people, especially children, but more often than not, you gotta do something that keeps the game more alive. Let's just talk about the world itself. There's so many genres of free roam games. You could talk about RPG free roam games or just action adventure free roam games or sandbox realistic free roam games and there's always a same problem with these things they do not look unique enough so let me explain what i'm talking about let's talk about the world itself for example so the world itself is actually a character and everyone keeps forgetting that when they develop these games every time they market a new game they always say these words this is the biggest map ever made sure that's cool but the problem with that is you have to have something within those maps that will get people's attention. You can't just have a huge map and just have nothing in it whatsoever. Everybody knows that I love Assassin's Creed Origins. It's my favorite Assassin's Creed in the franchise, but I did not like the map. It's because the map was huge. And there are certain areas in this map where it's just completely dead and there's nothing to do. For example, the whole desert terrain that was in the bottom of this map, there was literally nothing to do in this area. You could find one or two Easter eggs, but other than that, there's nothing to do but ride. And that is the problem with a lot of these games. There's nothing you could do. A great example of people that do this correctly, and I know I fanboyed this game too much already, but it has to be Saints Row 2. And I'm basically gonna explain why this map is really amazing and why a lot of games need to follow their footsteps when they were making this map. For example, when you go around town in this map, you do notice there's a lot of areas that are accessible, which a lot of free room games do not do for some reason. They always just have some interiors inside and say, oh, that must be cool to look at, but you actually cannot go in there. In this game, there is a lot of accessibility, not enough to be honest, but there is a lot of accessibility where you can go into buildings and see what is the interiors. And that's why I really enjoy about this game because there's a lot of that. And plus the activities that's involved with this game always evolve around the city. And that's what I really enjoy about this game, but it doesn't look generic. Just like, oh, do a ramp trick and that's it. Like GTA does when it has a broken road. No, this game where I really enjoy that they actually have some kind of construction or art or whatever the case may be that his main purpose was to do a trick or an event plus it does look unique enough that it's actually part of the city and you wouldn't even notice it that's what i liked about it plus the diversity like i said earlier when there's a whole campus there's a roman coliseum there's a trailer park, there's a mall area, there's the highway, there's a lot of things that I really enjoy about this. And that's what a lot of games should really do, is make a world look super unique. And there are some games that do that, like Skyrim, like Arkham City, like GTA San Andreas, they do do some things to these cities that look super unique, that's meant for one thing, but it looks enough that it works in the city, and that's why I really like about it. Random events. So a lot of these free roam games have random events for a specific reason, but most of the time it's just for the player will not get bored when you're just walking around the entire map. So the greatest example I could think of a random event is Skyrim, True Crime, and Red Dead Redemption 2. I know they're called random events and whatever the case may be, but obviously they are scripted, but it's not the point. The point is to make the player not bored. And what I really like about this is just because you're just gonna be doing something that makes you feel like this world is alive. So for a great example, you could be walking in Skyrim and whatever the case may be, a wolf comes to attack you 
or some beggar asks you for money or you're gonna get robbed that's why i really enjoyed about this game or like red dead redemption you could go from you're gonna get robbed to help a person out because he got been by a snake and from true crime you're a police officer so a lot of these random events will be from just game police calls saying that someone stole a car to even the point where some npcs will steal your car and you just have to get mad and just deal with it or go chase after that's why i really enjoy about these because they just keep the player more focused an example that i want to talk about that they did this horribly was fallout 76 and yes i know there is a lot of problems with that game i 100 percent understand that but the reason why i was not fond of this was because the map because they had the audacity to have no characters until this recent update a while ago but no characters so no interaction and yes you can get attacked by monsters or whatever the case may be but it doesn't feel fun or unique it obviously feels extra extra scripted and yes games do that but for this case scenario it just fell off it just felt like a dead world with some scripted events the npc so the npc is always considered just random characters you could just kill off or do whatever you want and they're not really important i beg to differ i believe the npcs are one of the most important parts of a free roam game a lot of people do not care but let me explain why they're important i say the npcs usually have one purpose in video games and that is to bring the world to life one of the things i do enjoy or what npcs do is either they have some dialogue that sounds very unique and every time you go around town or where the case may be it sounds different even though they obviously reused it but they have so much that you don't even remember it and it sounds fresh or when npcs start doing something random from literally stealing your car for some reason or fighting people on the street just because it happened and they're supposed to be so unique that you don't even recognize them when you go drive around the street and you don't see a repeat of the same npc of course games reuse the same npc model for example skyrim did it basically for the bandits and the guards and whatever the case and that is cool because they're not really meant to be essential you know they're just basically fodder but every other npc is unique with a name yes they might have the same voice actor but they are still unique in some kind of extent but there are some video games out there that they use the same tactic but the problem with that is they are meant to be part of a world and they show their face and they have some kind of dialogue that are basically exactly the same as other npcs even going to the point where you do see when it's two of the exact same npcs are next to each other and you start laughing at it and the last thing i do want to talk about is the art style so this is going to be kind of similar about how the map will look but this one i'm just talking about how it looks in the eyes and what it's meant to be just to be eye candy a lot of people do not realize how important this feature really is in a lot of video games and how it's meant to get our attention and one good example that did this very very well is sleeping dogs so the art style what it did in this game was to add the culture because it's based in china so you get to see when you drive around the culture of just how the text is around the map to just how the coloring and visually how it appeals to our eyes and Steam dogs did a very well job at this and cyberpunk 2077 might do an excellent job at this too from all the traders that we saw and the gameplay that they showed us plus the coloring just looks amazing with the two examples that i'm talking about and it doesn't look ugly or dark or whatever the case may be it's bright for it could catch our eyes an example that they did this horribly was funny enough gta 4 so gta 4 its problem with it there was nothing visually appealing in this game and it was all brownish and it just didn't work and it just looked the map very very bland and i already had my problem with this map already but just how it looked they didn't really appeal to my eyes and it didn't help where there was nothing unique or bright in this that attracts me and sure there are some people that did enjoy this map because it's very very similar to how it looks in new york city but there was nothing unique in any of this and i was not happy how it looked but yeah so i have to say that there is a lot of things that they need to do in future free roam title games going from interesting npcs to an excellent looking map 
And ever since, you know, Spider-Man, Red Dead Redemption, and even that new Cyberpunk game, I think we do have some high hopes when we get future free roam games. So tell me in the comments down below, what are your favorite free roam maps? Or tell me why the maps I said I didn't like, why you enjoyed it, and maybe we could just have some kind of conversation. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'm out. Deuces.